What is going on everyone and welcome back to another Black Desert video. My name is John and today we're going to be talking about something special for all of you because there have been a lot of new players in this game and or returning players. I wanted to talk about the event horse that everyone has been talking about the tier 9 dream horse that everyone uh, gets for free. So which one is the one for you you may be wondering and all of them have their own purpose and I don't think any of them are particularly bad but I want to go through all three horses and just show you uh, what it's about and maybe describe it in a way to help you guys pick. So as of right now I believe until the end of July uh, there are two items you get one in your Y tab on your mail thingy over here and then you combine the two items that gives you a bag and then once you open the bag, it gives you a choice of uh, three different horses, a unicorn, a pegasus, and a doom horse. And over the years, I have made each of those, and eventually you upgrade those tier 9s into a tier 10. So, yeah, how do they work, and which one is the best one for you? So personally, I have, well, currently I actively use a... Uh, Pegasus and the reasoning why is because this horse allows you to glide and fly in the in the air and you take like zero fall damage assuming you uh, hit the button to not take fall damage so before we do that let's talk about all three horses and I'll tell you where they're useful and I guess for all the min maxers out there uh, which one might be for you so first of all uh, if we go to the market, we might be able to see it. Uh, the ones from the event you cannot sell, but we'll just take a look at them and look at the stats just so you guys can see uh, what the difference might be and how you may be able to get the others in the future. So first of all, you go to the horse manager or the stable keeper in any town, it doesn't matter. And then you go to the horse market. So you usually just search by tiers and what do, this, what do these icons mean? Um, well, obviously male and female, and then if it has the golden horse head, that means it's a courser. A courser is when they have all the relevant skills to upgrade, and they can be turned into a tier 9 horse, which is a dream horse. So that's just the basic of how to. Once you get to the dream stage of a horse, there are multiple options of Pegasus, or Pegasus, Unicorn, Doom Horse. So, if we look at this, um... Well, obviously, I guess it's a bad representation because they're all different levels. But the Pegasus allows you to fly and jump off cliffs where you normally wouldn't be able to and not take fall damage. So it allows you to get uh, to from point A to point B in less time because of shortcuts. And the Dream Horse, or the Unicorn Dream Horse, is allowing you to run in the desert without slowing down. So back in the day, when I first was going for Dream Horses, there were only two of them. There was the Pegasus and the Unicorn. And I actually wanted the Unicorn first because, you know, it sounds cool, right? And back in the day when I was going for it, I was grinding in the desert because Achman and Histria was considered the meta spot multiple years ago. And so that's where I was grinding in the desert. And I guess that's why I wanted it. And when I finally eventually got my dream horse, it was a Pegasus. And it's not that I was upset with it because I was just happy I could get it because back in the day it was like considered harder than it was it is now. So what happens when you get the unicorn? Basically, um, you get to run all the way around a desert and you know how if you have any other horse uh, aside from a camel, you just can't sprint in there. And with the unicorn, it allows you to sprint there. And honestly, I think that as of 2023, it is probably the least useful horse of the three. Not saying it's bad. It's just one of the least effective in a way. Um, but the tier 10 unicorn allows you to run on water, which I think is amazing. There are drawbacks to that is like it can't just run on the water out in the ocean infinitely. You have to kind of like island hop to regen stamina and all that stuff. But th that's another topic because tier 10 horses are already kind of hard to get. So 
Um, basically, for everyone who's able to get one as of like today, um, Unicorn allows you to just run into desert. No penalties. It's pretty great. And finally, we have the Doom Horse. I have my Doom Horse on this character. So what the Doom Horse allows you to do is it allows you to sprint three times before um, you get to like have to stop and recycle. So one thing I want to show you is how people get from point A to B fast and uh, how to do the drift thingy that you see in videos. So let me just turn on the display thingy. I I think this works okay so uh just keep in mind mouse function one i have it rebound it's normally your c button by default so okay so people are wondering how do you do the drift thingy that everyone does first of all in my opinion i think it's really dumb i think they should just rework the entire system to the point where they just make horses faster but then just remove the drift entirely so basically it's the same thing but it just doesn't look clunky but anyway, so you're you're just riding around on your horse, right? And you're wondering, how do people go faster? And then this is basically it. If you hold shift and it allows you to drift if, with all these skills on. Uh, so you'd be hitting F to instant excel. And then up and then everything to sprint. And then drift is sideways while running. So basically you hold shift to sprint. Very standard. Every game has that, right? And then when you go up and then F, then that allows you to keep recycling it in a way, if that makes sense. Uh, kind of like animation canceling the drift and sprint, which is, is really clunky, but it's the way people do it. So basically, yeah, if you're doing that, this is what it looks like. And then there's ways to bind your key as well. But if you're doing this with a uh, Doom Horse, for example, I'll show you what it looks like in a second. So let's go... I'll sprint down to here. So basically, you're holding shift and everything. Oh, that was a lag spike. And then this is what it looks like when you have a Pegasus. You get to just hop over things and fly. So for example, if I wanted to just like yeet myself off this cliff right here, most classes can't or most horses can't do that. But you kind of glide and then you take no damage, which is pretty awesome itself. And um, so one thing you can do is you instant excel and drift twice. That's what unicorns and uh, pegasuses can do. Now, let me show you something on the dr uh, Doom Horse that uh, is different from the other two. So the Doom Horse is more considered a PvP horse, but realistically, it <laughs> if you're using it in large scale PvP, it doesn't really actually matter. It used to just lag people's game and then <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. But uh, BDO is just a wonky spaghetti code of a game. And uh, yeah, so let me see. Where is my where is my other horse? I hope it's here. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me just call it. So we're going to sprint from Velia to Heidel. And technically, if you were using it in terms of auto pathing, like let's say, um, let's say you set your auto path to Heidel and then you hit your T button, right? This will just auto sprint or auto travel it from point A to B, right? Uh, you know how you can drift instant excel twice on the unicorn and Pegasus? On the Doom Horse, you can do it three times. So watch when the flames come out and then it's gonna go like one, two, yeah, so like one, two, and then three. So it's basically, if you're, think of it as if you're trying to race someone from point A to B. If you're like actively riding, then a Doom Horse will be technically the fastest. And that's kind of like the huge benefit it has. So like you can go three times instead of two, which getting from point A to B faster is definitely Doom Horse ready. Keep in mind that Doom Horses are the most common horses as of right now, like to buy and get off the market. So if you're thinking of getting this one, I would probably recommend getting the Pegasus just because it's still more useful for like the general majority of players. And so overall, that's my choice. But here's what's different that a uh, Doom Horse offers. 
So every class has some special skills at the bottom, like what the unique features are. Pegasus being able to glide and fly, take no fall damage. That's awesome. Uh, unicorns being able to run into desert without uh, slow penalties. And Doom allows you to triple sprint or like this right here uh, three times instead of two. And also, it's when I say it's for Doom, it allows you to do things like that. And it's more... How do I say it? It's... How do I say it without it sounding stupid? The damage from your horse is based off of the AP on your character instead of the horse gear, and, which makes zero sense to me. But I've seen people like ramming forts in Node Wars and PvP. People just doing that to like knock people off. So yeah, it's more used in PvP and I think that's what it's for. But I think just overall um, usefulness, uh, Pegasus would be the most useful for anyone. But anyway, uh, if you have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comments, ask me, join the Discord and all that stuff. And if you're having trouble picking one, um, just let me know what you do more often. Like, are you a PvPer, PvEer? And then that may be able to help you. But ultimately, at the end of the day, just get the one you think is the nicest horse or the one that you like the most. Um, so overall, I talked about the three different ones, and hopefully you guys make the decision that works for you. And before I head out, I just want to say one, thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel lately. All the new subscribers here on the channel. I make videos for uh, new players, so like beginners, uh, returning players, and people who are just looking to improve at the game in general. So on my channel, you'll find a lot of different things, whether you're a beginner all the way to end game or just learning to improve on a certain aspect of your gameplay, like PvE, PvP and all that stuff, life skilling. And so, yeah, I would hope to see you guys around again. And before we go, just want to do a quick mention that as of July 7th to August 18th, I do have a code for uh, the uh, website purchases. So if you are thinking about trying out the game in general and or buying a coins or pearls, uh, use my code John Law. It's not co uh, case sensitive and I get a small portion of what you spend on it. So I would really appreciate it if you did. Uh, you guys are awesome. And even if you don't spend money on this game, I hope you guys learn something. And I would love to see you guys come back. So thanks so much once again, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.